Um, and for this uh, specific uh, demonstration, I already prepared an opportunity. So I have an opportunity for this webinar. I'm going to do a couple of configurations just to show you some different capabilities. The first thing we will do is create a new quote, which is all standard Salesforce. So I'm going in and I'm going to create a new quote. And that quote is going to be a quote for this webinar for solar panels. I have a client that buys solar panels and I need to make a configuration for those. So I'm creating a new quote and I'm going into the quote. This is all standard Salesforce. And then of course, here's the configuration for the quote. The only thing we need to do here is make sure that we make a selection of the right selling model, in this case, for the solar panel sale. And at this point, Ecom will launch the questionnaire that it will be applied to this specific sales scenario. Now, of course, we're going to give this quote a name. Uh, we're going to say a solar panel sales. And of course, it remembers my previous input. And the first thing I'm going to do here is indicate how much power I use in peak and in low hours. Now, I know based on this, I will need probably 50 panels to facilitate this need. And uh, at this point, we, we have no other info. But as soon as I know I'm going to place these on two roofs, Econ will propose a structure to go through the questions I need to fill out for those specific uh, roofs. And I want to have a 20% margin on the installation services. Now, the first thing we're going to do is make sure this is uh, the roof of the main building. At that moment, the caption of this thing will change so I know which building I'm working on here. Now I have a roof type and the roof type will uh, drive the mounting system. So if it's a flat roof, I'll have the Aztec mounting system. For a corrugated roof, I will have the solar cell. So a set equal can drive base values based on certain combinations that are possible or impossible, of course. I can select a roof mounting system. And then I'm gonna say that I will have five by five uh, in terms of rows for my solar panels in less than 25 grade. And then I'm going to my product selections. This is a list of items come directly from my item master in Salesforce. And from here, I am going to do the product selections. Here we go. Um, based on the selection, things will populate and I can add the quantity. I'm gonna add 10 of those solar panels. Then the second thing I'm gonna do is add a second panel and add 15 of those. So in this time, at this moment, I have 25 panels out of the 50 that we have to facilitate. Second thing is I have to choose an inverter and this could also be supported by pictures, of course, or other information. This dropdown can contain a lot of information as you will see in other demonstrations that we're gonna be looking at. Then we have uh, an installation cable we're gonna need and maybe we also have a monitor, the solar log 100 and we're gonna use one of those. Econ will in the time track um, if I am done, and in this case, I'm not done because I have 50 panels to choose and I only have 25. So I cannot save this configuration back yet. What we're gonna do is go to the second building and say second building. And uh, what we're gonna do here is add five by five rows again um, in more than a 25 uh, grade. And we're gonna add these panels and we're gonna add 25. We're going to also add an inverter again, uh, or maybe actually two, why not? Nope. We're going to add two inverters here. And in the meantime, we're going to add an installation cable, which could be sold in different units of measures, by the way. We're going to add a monitor, one of them. So one monitor, here we go. Oh. Excuse me, one monitor and we can, of course, look at the total overview of the quote. So we can see how the quote looks in this case. We can work with prices, with discounts, everything can be updated here. And when I'm ready to go in, I can save this, this configuration. So at this point, Econ saves everything into the entities that we have set up for Salesforce, and we can look at what happened. So at this moment, Econ generated all the quote lines that we need for this specific installation. So we have the monitors here, we have the solar panels for the different roofs, 25 for roof one, 10 and 15 for roof, uh, for roof one, and 25 for roof two. At any given point in time, we can go back in and make changes. So let's say the client says, hey, I don't think there's gonna be enough. We could add 10 panels. Uh, we could say, no, there's gonna be on the third building. 
and continue our configuration process. We could say this is the shed, oh, the shed, and uh, for that shed is going to be a portrait mounting for a flat shed. We're going to do five by two here. Uh, it's a less than 25 grade roof, and we're going to add uh, 10 panels. And we're not going to add anything else for this. So we can save it back. Eco will update the configuration and add the quote line. So when now I go to the quote lines and I look at the details, I will see that 10 panels have been added. So we can go back and forth between the configuration until the client is satisfied with the result. And from here, it's all standard Salesforce. So I can create my documents. You know, I can use this with standard Salesforce. I could use DocuSign, Conga, you know, any, any document generation tool you want to. We also have our own. So that's a choice you can make. And for me, it's all standard Salesforce for approvals for everything. 